Hello everyone. In today's quick walkthrough video, we will learn how to extract annotations and comments from a PDF document when it's attached to a SharePoint list. This will allow us to populate text columns on our SharePoint list with our annotation array. Before we get started, please remember to like the video and subscribe to our channel. For this demonstration, I will begin by showing you an automated cloud flow that already has three important actions included. These are the same three actions we need to use in all of our SharePoint list automation workflows involving file attachments. We begin with a when an item is created trigger, and directly after that, we add get attachments and get attachment content actions. All three of these actions are configured with the same SharePoint site address and list details, and they work together to bring attachment file bytes into our flow. The get attachment content action will always become wrapped in a for each control, and within this for each control is where we'll add our Cloudmersive PDF connector action. To find that action, we will click Add an Action, and we will then type Cloudmersive into the search bar. From here, we will scroll down until we find the PDF connector, and we will then click See More to view the actions list. We are looking for an action called Get PDF Annotations, including comments in the document, and once we find it, we can select it. If we haven't used Cloudmersive connectors in the past, we will need to create our connection at this stage. As a reminder, we will need a premium Power Automate account to use Cloudmersive connectors, but we can use them at no additional cost with a free API key. This will allow up to 800 API calls per month with zero commitments, and we can get one by creating a free account on the Cloudmersive website. After we've created our connection, we will configure our request using the attachment content and display name values retrieved from our get attachment content and get attachments actions respectively. This action returns an array of information about each annotation or comment in the PDF, including the title, page number, index, location on the page, and of course, the text content. In our next action, we will use the SharePoint update item action to pass our response array to the original list item. This action enumerates the columns available on our original list item, so we can fill those in with flow content. There are a variety of different ways we can break down the annotations response array, but in this quick demonstration, we will simply include the entire array in a multi-line text column on our SharePoint list. My example PDF contains two comments, so I will be using Power Automate's join expression to clearly separate each response object in the array when it appears on my SharePoint list. Once we are done here, we will save and test our flow by attaching a PDF with annotations or comments to our SharePoint list. When our flow finishes running, we will find our response array included in the multi-line text column of our list. We can use various Power Automate functions to parse this array differently, but the important thing is that this information can become instantly available to us in an easy to view text field. And with that, we've reached the end of this demonstration. If you have any additional questions for us about leveraging Cloudmersive APIs and Power Automate, please feel free to contact a member of our team.